with Eric, they both have a lot more inner life, specifically through song this time mm. around. I'm curious about the conversations with Alan and Lynn about digging into their perspectives with new songs. Well, it was great. I mean, listen, I was so lucky that Alan was open to creating new material, and it was incredible to have Lynn, because Lynn is a really close friend. And um, so I had someone I knew well. And uh, to have him, and he's such a brilliant lyricist, obviously, um, and he loves, loves Howard Ashman's work on The Little Mermaid. It's really what inspired him to write. So what was great was we were able to, you know, agree that it was okay to, like, find some places for some new songs. And we had many places to, you know, I felt Ariel had needed another song. Ariel has one song in the animated film, just one. That's it. And so you go, well, she needs another song. And so we found this beautiful song for the first time when she's first on land. So she, to understand what she's experiencing on land. And then, you know, um, Scuttlebutt, which is such a fun <laughs> number with Scuttle. I mean, we could take a scene and replace it with a song, give that character something to sing. And then, um, and she's so wonderful, Aquafina. She's so original and great. Um, so it was wonderful to give her a, a song. And then, Eric, you know, needed wild uncharted waters. He needed. We needed to follow his trajectory. What's his journey? What's his "I want" song? You know, and and um, so it, it was. It, it was pretty clear as we were working, you know, that we're all from the theater. We all understand how musicals work because um, we've done a few. So it was really great to be, you know, with people that you really love, and you have to park your ego outside the door that's how collaboration works and everybody you know says let's just find what wh where we can sing again you know 